Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Booth, the Laboratory Operations Manager for the Undergraduate Teaching Suite in the Faculty of Science. And I'm Dr. Charles Cranfield, a Senior Lecturer in the School of Life Sciences in the Faculty of Science. And safety is very important to us, so we want you to pay close attention to the following videos. During an evacuation procedure from either Building 4 or Building 7, you need to move to Thomas Street and then to the Jones Street uh, pedestrian mall within the TAFE precinct. If you are evacuating from Building 7, you need to move at least 50 metres down the precinct. Personal protective equipment, or PPE, is required for working in all science labs. PPE means safety glasses, lab coat, which is buttoned up, and closed in uh, solid footwear. If you have long hair, it also means tying it back in a ponytail. So now you know about mandatory PPE, it's safety glasses, lab coats and sturdy footwear. There are some other things that you might consider when you go into the lab depending on what you're doing. For example, long trousers if you are subject to um, a high level of chemistry. Uh, what gloves are you going to use? And uh, if you wear scarves or chains, are they going to dangle in front of you and cause an incident? Every lab has an entry zone. And then there are these red lines of tape which indicate where your personal protection must be worn. So once you cross this line of red tape, you need to have your lab coat fully done up as well as your safety glasses on. In every laboratory there are banks of gloves for your hand protection. They come in either nitrile or latex versions and small, medium and large and they are freely available so just help yourself when you need it. This is one of the many safety showers you will find in the lab and these are here in case you have any chemical spill on yourself or if you are suffering from any burns. They're quite simple to operate. Simply pull the lever. At every shower point there is also an eye wash station and this is for any spills that get into the eye obviously. To operate you simply remove the yellow caps and push this lever here and then a steady stream of water will flow like so. Fume cupboards are used when working with dangerous chemicals. You need to be familiar with the operating procedures before you work in one. Just note that the green light at the side here means that it's ready to use but if you get a red light coming on then it's not available for use and you must see a demonstrator before proceeding. Science laboratories can be hazardous places, so please, common sense is required at all times. There is no eating or drinking in the lab, and students may only enter the lab when a staff member is present. Should first aid be required, qualified first aid officers can be identified on the hazard information posters in the lab. If a first aid officer is unavailable, Contact security on the extension 1192. All security are first aid qualified. For a medical emergency, either dial 6 using the internal phones or call 000. All accidents need to be reported. If you have an accident, then please see your demonstrator to help you report your accident online. There are many hazards in the lab, and we want you to watch out especially for things like boiling water baths. If you break any glass, and be very careful removing the pieces of glass. Use the dustpan and brush that is provided and put all the glass into the broken glass bin. If there are any spills, there is a dedicated spill kit. Your demonstrator will show you how to use it. Any sharps, such as scalpel, scalpels and needles, must go into the yellow sharps containers provided. The pet tips, on the other hand, they can be deposited into the recycle, recycled milk cartons. There are many hazardous chemicals used in the labs Make sure you read the labels carefully and know what's required of them. Another important thing is to know how to dispose of chemicals and we don't put chemicals down the sink where possible. There are special classes of chemical which must be put into special receptacles and your demonstrators will show you where these are. Some extra points to note. 
Lab benches must be treated as though they can contaminate you, however clean they may look, and it is very important then that you wash your hands on the way out of the lab. Bags are a trip hazard, and so they must be either stored under the bench in the B4 labs, or in the bag storage bay in the super labs. Mobile phones must be switched off at all times in the lab, as they are a distraction, and, a poten and there is the potential for contaminating your mobile phone. Finally, just remember these points from your Escape from UTS video. In an emergency, dial 6 from any UTS phone or use the uh, security number 1800 249 559. If the alarm sounds, do not use the lifts. Learn the nearest exits, move away from the building to the assembly area, do not re-enter the building until given the all clear.